Hi and welcome to the first of our videos on homeostasis. Today we're going to be looking primarily at how homeostasis um, works. So first of all, when we're talking about homeostasis, you need to know about homeostasis, it's all about balance. Basically, homeostasis means staying the same. And it was a term introduced by this guy, Claude Bernard. So when we're talking about homeostasis, we're basically defining it as maintaining a constant internal environment. And the internal environment can be anything from the contents of a unicellular organism to plants and also to animals as well. Now, what I'd like you to do, I would like you to think about the last time you did some exercise or better yet, jog on the spot now for say roughly 60 seconds and I want you to make a note of what processes or what experiences your body goes through. Now depending on how fit you are you should find that after a couple of seconds your breathing rate and also your skin temperature should start to increase. As your body begins to work more it's going to need uh, more oxygen for respiration likewise it's going to be producing more carbon dioxide which it needs to get rid of as well it's also going to be producing a lot more heat now when you stop exercising you should find that over time your breathing rate gradually starts to fall again until you're right around your normal breathing rate or your resting breathing rate so it basically follows a simple loop you've got a change in the environment which is detected by a receptor the receptor then sends a signal to a control center the control center then decides on a particular response and it then sends a signal to an effector after receiving the signal it tries to correct the deviation from that stable internal environment by either enhancing it um, via positive feedback or by depressing it via negative feedback. Now we're going to focus primarily on negative feedback because okay so here's our very simple negative feedback loop. In the middle here you have our normal so that's our normal stable internal environment. Now for example let's say you suddenly get too hot Receptors within the skin detect that change from that stable internal environment and information is sent to the control center. Now that's usually the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus then sends signals to an effector, usually glands within the skin, to produce sweat. And therefore, your temperature decreases. Likewise, if for some reason you start to feel cold, the receptors in the skin detect that change, send information to the hypothalamus, and your hypothalamus will then send information to your muscles, for example, and get them to start shivering, which will increase your temperature. Okay, so you should be able to define homeostasis as a stable internal environment. You should also be able to define what we mean by negative feedback and give a simple example.